Hello guys, Dusty here with an entirely new episode of Earthbound, that is right. Uh, now I do apologize for being a little bit late on this one, however, as you may have noticed, we got a little bit of a new audio setup going on, so I think it was worth it, right, being a little bit late, and we will be back on our regu regularly scheduled programming. We should have another episode up by 6 o'clock uh, on the regular night that it would have went up if I would have uploaded it on time, but anyway, um... We're going to get back to walk and talk, basically, with Earthbound. So, things have changed in my life a little bit. Uh, for one, um, I got a nook. So, there you go. Like, look, at look, it's a nook, and it's all nooky and stuff. It's, it's a nook. I can, I can open it up, and it nooks. No, but I, I got that at the pawn shop for three bucks because it won't charge. So, yeah, that's just basically my Earthbound tablet. That's what, it, well, that's, what that's there for. And it, nice, crisp 1080p image there uh nothing to complain about with that but yeah um also i hit a deer well the deer hit me but um basically just ran straight in front of my car and uh the buick mobile got quite damaged up so um yeah week's been a little hectic but you know we're, we're trying to stay on track get things done right so all right we're gonna we're gonna just continue on with earthbound and walk and talk while we talk about the walk of the talk that made no sense. Uh, but yeah, we're going to talk about our new audio setup. So, the new audio setup, uh, we're going to create a restore point too, um, consists of a Behringer Xenox 802 uh, keyboard, keyboard, soundboard, and a um, Electrovoice RE20 microphone, which is like freaking more expensive than what I should ever be able to hold or allowed to hold by law, in essence. Dang it, stupid moldy trash, man. Okay, you engage the, the fly. Oh, oh, he didn't get me. He didn't get me, huh? Yeah, we're way under level for those freaking things. Basically, a lot of this is kind of espionage. You want to kind of avoid enemies uh, and take down these, like, bees and whatnot. Um, oh, this isn't good. Have to uh, check. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe check some of these graves. I think there's a guy here somewhere, if I remember correctly. Honestly, this is kind of the part of the game where it's like, uh, I cannot remember what the heck I'm doing. It's not as easily rehearsed. Oh, crap. Well, we are done screwed. <laughs> All right. Uh, we'll try to get this going here. Um, okay, okay. We think I think we can deal with this. So we're going to go ahead and put most of our effort, you know, effort on the future mold man then we're gonna go ahead and go um should we just freeze out future moldy man i think we probably should just because honestly he is dangerous he is no good to deal with uh with these low level uh ness and paulas so we're gonna go ahead and take both of these out hopefully in one go Okay, really, this is... These guys are kind of tougher than they should be, but yeah, we're going to get good levels out of this, so no big deal about that right there. Um, Ness and Paula gained 1,038 each. My God, that's actually, like, really nice. Um, good leveling up there, I guess. Oh, God, these things are everywhere. Oh, it's... Dang it, these are all putrid moldy men. Or no, there's a smelly ghost. Well, uh... I guess we're gonna put some pressure on the smelly ghost where are we PSI. Honestly, I think freeze baiting this guy is worth it. Just because this guy, this guy is not a guy you want to deal with. So uh, we're gonna go ahead. I played a little bit and then you know I wanted to check my audio and then I was like, oh crap, yeah, um, probably should quit playing and fix the whole audio situation because it was a little really. Well, that never happened. Uh, okay, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to try to restart from here. I do apologize about that. Um, it's just that we really, I don't want to like really overspend money right now. Also, um, we should probably uh, status, make sure we don't have a good amount of money on us. Um, make sure I remember to put my money back. Where is the money? Level 20, offense, speed, guts, vitality, luck. Hey, let me for PSI. Experience points, points, points. Uh, 
fucking flash. Is there not a way you can tell how much money you have? Uh... Oh, it's right there, and we have $205. Let's not lose that. Uh, let's go back, and we're resource managementing. No, we're just going to keep on playing until we uh, make some progress this episode. So that, that'll be our timer. We're not going to go by 15 minutes on this particular episode since, uh, honestly, <clears throat> excuse me. Um... Okay, we're gonna need to check the map. Okay, shop's down there. But honestly, uh, I hate, I hate not being on time. On uh, what the god? No, I just, oh god. Okay, screw both of you. Screw both of you at the same time. You both? No, actually, you guys just screw each other. I uh, anyway, we're we're just gonna kill these guys. No big deal. These these guys these guys are nothing. Brain shock. Money. Okay. Um. Well, hopefully we can kill these guys. Okay, there's one. Okay, so we'll just do a double bash. Good old bash job. Handsome Tom. Fair enough. Uh, all right. You won, and Paul is level 13 again. Not like that ever happened before. Oh, but I think she got a little bit more of an upgrade out of that. You could really farm that, couldn't you? Anyway, um... <laughs> We're going to go ahead and deposit this money into the ATM. Sorry, I just don't want to lose all this money in case I die for some reason. But uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, just do it this way. We select, uh, we would like to deposit our account balance 1950. Uh, we would like to deposit $204 here. All right. And our account will be credited $204. All right. So now we can go back to the graveyard and try to figure this out. Try to figure out a way that we don't die. Because, oh, well, that was nice. A little bit too little too late, you know. Um, we're going to go ahead and just try to get through here without getting attacked horribly. Well, yeah, it's just going to be the bugs, isn't it? Yeah, no good flies. These are good, these are good level grinders, I guess. No big deal. We'll just take them one each round. Hopefully. Yep. All right. <coughs> so, yeah, that'll work. And all right. We won. We won, guys. Congratulations. I'm going to fix this pop filter so I don't pop. Pop, lock, or drop. Or drop the lock and pop. Pop. Bibbidi bop. Okay, we'll make sure. Great, restore point here. So we can get kind of further through the graveyard. They make this game fairly difficult, so... I'm sorry that I have to do all the kinds of cheatiness, but... Um, you know... Well, we can take on two more no-good flies. And darn it, they're just no-good flies. They're no good. No good at all. But anyway, we'll go ahead and take these guys right out and get a little XP for it. All right, and I won, which is good. And we got that XP, baby. But yeah, we're supposed to go over here. We're going to save our state here just in case. I don't think we have to, like, battle or anything, but um, he stares into your soul. He looks you over. He looks you over. He stares into your soul. All right, so I think that's what we're supposed to do, if I'm not mistaken. Then, yes, I'm using the lock through the point to do everything. Uh, okay, we're supposed to do something next. So... make our way out of there but yeah we had to trigger that event if i remember correctly um at least that's what the guide says for the most part i don't know i'm not good at this whole um video games thing so you'll have to excuse me because you don't really have a choice that's a joke yeah now see we can go in here and then 
Oh, this music is just so freaking cool. Like, man. This is brilliant. It's so trippy and awesome. We're gonna go ahead and call home. Uh... We're gonna talk to mom first. Hello, Ness. So I heard you got a new girlfriend on your journey. Well, why don't you tell me about her later? You see, I have this feeling that she's right next to you or something. Well, if she's right there, say ha hello to her for me. I have to go now. I'm right in the middle of cleaning the toilet. Bye. Well, all right. And let's talk to dad and save the game here. I'm um, taking away 200... 2,200 some odd money in the bank. Uh, I would like to record. All done. And... Um, there we go. We're gonna... Oh, crap. Well, that could be a problem. Aw, oh, daggum. I just screwed everything up, didn't I? Yeah. <sighs> we're, we're in this together, right? You guys don't watch for me to advance through video games. If you do, then, well, honestly, what's wrong with you? No, <laughs> you don't expect any progress, do you? I mean, come on. Progress is for people who like to advance forward. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and try that again here. Make our way over to the hotel, to the mysterious woman. And we are going to go ahead and we're going to do this the correct way this time. There we go. Yeah, you've already read this. Alright. Then we're going to go ahead and save our state because I don't trust myself to not hit the wrong button this time around. Never done that before. Uh, we're gonna talk to Zen. That's your dad. Deposit the taken away. That's two hundred percent. Well, XP level. Next time we call anyway. Record all done. Okay. Um, and we're gonna continue. There we go. Yes, we hit the right button. Sweet. Okay. And we can go this direction. We're gonna go in this room first because why not, right? We can talk to this guy. He looks pleasant. And be careful while walking around outside, especially near the graveyard. Thank you. Nice kind tips from a nice kind tip guy. Check the window. No problems here. There's no problems in the window. How about this pillar? Okay. We're wasting time here. Oh, that's not fun. Well. All right. Oh, oh, you're losing consciousness. What could be the fate of Ness and his friend? This isn't good. This doesn't look good at all. Okay, so we're in a room. And it's dark and kind of creepy. The door is locked. We are in a room and the door is locked. Well, I'm calling out to you who I've never met. I'm calling our friend who we've never met. Jeff, Jeff, we need your help. I am Paula and I am with another friend, Ness. We are trying to contact you. And hey, I have a soundboard, so that means I can do this. Dang it, I didn't even get to use the higher voice. <sighs> Whatever. Here. Winners, a small country to the north. Snowwood Boarding House. Okay, we can quit that now. All right. Oh, here we go. I am Paula, and I am with another friend, Ness. We are trying to contact you. If you hear me, please wake up and head south. Only you through far away can save us, Jeff. Please hear my call and begin heading south. Jeff, you are a friend who we've never met, but you are our one and only hope. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. All right, um, that re that's what that reminds me of. Anyway, hope that wasn't too jarring for you. It was a little loud now that I see the, like, monitor and everything. But anyway, Jeff, where are you going in the middle of the night? 
You know the dorm rules, right? If you get caught, you'll get punished big time. What? What's wrong, Jeff? All right. There must be some reason that I don't understand. I won't stop you. But it's dangerous to leave without taking anything along. Yeah. Or you could say, it's dangerous to go alone. Take this. Anyway, <laughs> hey, I think there's some stuff in the locker room that you should get. I'm, I'll help you get out of here. All right. Awesome. We have a party member. Tony joined you. Oh, Tony. He's so cool. Uh, we're going to go ahead and check here. See if there's anything we can grab. Grab out of our grabbing place. Anyway. Move right along. I heard a creature called Tessie lives in the southern lake. I don't believe it. I think someone made a model and placed it in the lake. Fair enough. Uh, I heard a more interesting story than the rumor about Tessie. It's about cave boys at Stonehenge. Maybe many claim to have actually seen them. I wonder if the rumor is true that the center of Stonehenge has an entrance leading to some place. Someday we should check it out. I'm sleepy. I wash my face, brush my teeth, do my business, and go to bed. Well, fair enough. Uh, okay. We'll go in this room quick because... Oh, look at that. <laughs> it's like Christmas time. I'm so sleepy. Tony's birthday party is tomorrow. I hand-decorated each cookie to pass out at the party tomorrow. If you're going outside, stop by and say hi to Maxwell before you leave. He always looks out for the younger students. Maxwell is still working hard in the lab downstairs. Anyway, these days, there are many dangerous animals wandering outside. Well, we're going to steal all these kids' cookies. Because why not, right? It's not like there's any consequences to my actions. And he's level one, so... Health is kind of an issue sometimes. All right. Let's see if they say anything different if you take the cookies. <gasps> Just interesting. If you're going outside, stop by. Okay. Okay. Talk to this guy here. Jeff, I can't believe you should do something so nasty. <laughs> yeah, he does. That's cool. Uh, sorry, but, you know, I'm on an epic adventure to save the world. I don't have time for your... Uh, I, I I must complete these nefarious cookie deeds. Oh, Jeff and Tony, you startled me. Are you looking for a late-night snack? No, I have plenty of cookies. I have some trouble with my project. If only Jeff's father, Dr. And Donuts, were here, he'd be able to provide a great deal of help. I've heard he's an astonishing person. He was one of the first leaders of our Ultra Science Club. I've heard he's greater than Einstein or Heisenberg. Rumor has it that he's also very strange. If you're heading to the locker room, take this key along. It's a little bent, though. All right. Jeff got the key to the locker. If you leave, call me and record your adventure. It's like saving the game. <laughs> All right. Well, that was fun. Um, let's go ahead and go over here. I believe this is the locker room. Yes, it is, in fact. Uh, this one is locked. This one is locked. This one is locked. This one's locked. This one's locked. This one's locked. This one's Okay, so I actually have to go to goods. Key to locker, use. Uh, goods, key to locker, use. Goods, key to locker, use. Okay, goods, key to locker, use. Okay, well, eventually we'll hit the right one. Goods, key to the locker, use. Okay, good, oh, crap. Uh, goods, key to the locker, use. Uh, goods, key to the locker, use. Well, that's counterproductive, I suppose. I'm kind of curious if I should do something with that. Um, I, I hate doing this to you guys, but I'm going to check the guide quick. And just, you know, I don't want to freaking get it wrong and have problems. Um... Okay, winners. Yeah. Uh, telepathic greening. Snowwood boarding school. Uh, just a moment. This, I, 
I am surprised at how disappointed I am with this because I was thinking I, I bought a Nook. I'm not going to get much out of this, but really, I can't even read with it. It's a freaking Nook. And you can't even read with it. What the heck? Man, this is just not cool. It's not cool. That's what it is. Okay. Um, okay, so floor plan of boarded wood school shows student at full access all facilities. Uh, floor plan to sleep study. Down on Mac machine. Like a bed. What? Just outside the upper hall where students gather. Downstairs. Maxwell fiddles with the unique means like a bad key machine. The locker room is filled with useful items. Um Okay, apparently the locker room is filled with useful items, so we should probably um Figure out what the heck the used key machine is, or where it is, or, um, something. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry about this, guys. I'm just not very good at this whole Earthbound game. It's not like, you know. Okay. Uh, good. There's key locker. Okay, yeah, so, um, talk to... Uh, the key didn't work. I thought that might be... Oh, here we go. So I gotta talk to him. Machine that opens doors, especially when you have a slightly bad key. <laughs> That's cool. Sorry for the inconvenience. Hey, no problem. Jeff got the bad key machine. If you're a Dr. Ann Donut's son, you should be able to repair small tools and make them useful. Just try to keep a positive attitude. Alright. I can do that. So yeah, we're gonna go to the locker room now and get a bunch of cool stuff. So I'm glad I didn't, you know, continue traversing on my adventure. Oh, crap. Goods. Uh, um, bad key machine. Fortunately, nothing inside the locker. Alright. Goods. Bad key machine. Uh, nothing inside this locker. Uh, goods. Bad key machine. And, unfortunately, nothing inside. Oh, alright. Uh, goods. Bad key machine. Okay. There was a Holmes hat. Awesome. We can equip that. Uh, goods. Holmes hat, uh, use, oh, crap, uh, equip, uh, arms, other, I think, Holmes hat, yep, there we go, awesome, so that'll bring up our defense, uh, goods, bad key machine used, to open locker, there's a popcorn awesome, I already have too many things to cherry, um, okay, then, uh, goods, I'll eat a cookie, awesome, okay, uh, Good. Uh, bad key machine use. Pop gun, awesome. Uh, good. Bad key machine use. Okay, and good. Bad key machine use. Okay, that's okay. We'll eat another cookie and grab that. Good. Cookie use. Okay. Uh, good. Pop gun. No. Goods, bad key machine use, and we'll get the broken air gun. Then we're gonna go ahead and go to uh, equip weapon uh, pop gun, and should be good to go. All right, continue on to the front door here. And all right, I think this is a cutscene. Okay, no, this isn't a cutscene. All right, so. I think this is it. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all in the next episode.